Hi everyone, welcome to another Journalist Toolbox training. My name is Mike Riley, the founder and editor of the Journalist Toolbox. You can find the Journalist Toolbox at journalisttoolbox.org or at spj.org, the Society of Professional Journalists website. It's linked off the homepage there. Um, today's training, uh, we're going to look at some productivity tools, uh, a tool called Miro, uh, which is really good for collaboration and planning um, in a number of different ways uh, to give your team templates to work with and uh, uh, all kinds of different tools uh, that they can use to plan projects and products. Um, ClipDrop, uh, which is a nice little phone app that interacts with your computer, allows you to uh, shoot pictures of things and then drop the image uh, right on your desktop. Um, kind of like AirDrop, but it does uh, a few things that AirDrop does not. Uh, ClipDrop.co is the website. You have to download a little software there uh, and then download the ClipDrop app for free uh, on your iPhone. Um, audio Trimmer um, is just a basic uh, uh, audio editing tool, uh, much like Sotaphonic and some of the other tools out there uh, that you can dig up and uh, uh, you know, uh, do some quick and dirty audio editing on. Uh, all the tools I mentioned here are free, and you can find more productivity tools uh, at journalsttoolbox.org. You can find them under digital journalism. Uh, and we have a whole section on productivity tools uh, right down here. Uh, and these are all just little uh, tools with bells and whistles on them that uh, are free, easy to use, and uh, you know will just make your life a lot easier. That's one of the important things about the web that I talk about with my students all the time is uh, you know find the tools that help you do your job better and more efficiently instead of something that you know is a big time suck. Um, so uh, there's dozens of them listed on the site right here. Uh, so let's talk about some of these tools. Uh, Miro is one of my uh, new favorites. Um, a couple friends of mine turned me on to this. Uh, I'm going to have my students start using this when they plan their final projects this semester at UIC. Um, this is a free tool. Um, it does have uh, paid plans with it, uh, but the free tool works just fine. Uh, the paid plans work well for a large organization, maybe where you want to separate your teams out uh, and only certain teams can see certain planning boards. Um, uh, you're really, uh, for my intents and purposes, uh, you know, I don't care what team looks at what uh, uh, board, you know, that it's fine if they want to check something out uh, that's a little different. You can launch a new board here. Um, it gives you some other more popular templates here. Or you can go here to show all templates. Um, you can invite members up here at the top. Um, and it gives you several different types of template groups here. Uh, you know, building blocks, the, the ones that I find more uh, helpful are mapping and diagramming. Great for website planning. Um, uh, you know, things like a site map, you know, a little wireframe for your uh, website, uh, solution trees, all kinds of different little, uh, uh, you know, app wireframes, which you can show the different uh, screens uh, uh, for, your, for your app, and you can all go in and edit uh, that template. Um, all you have to do is send them a little email invite. Um, I'll show you that in a minute. Um, uh, strategy and planning is another really popular one. Um, think of this as kind of like sticky notes, you know, you know, little, uh, team agenda, uh, uh, canvas, things like that, visual story map, um, a timeline, uh, you know, if you're planning out a project, you have a timeline, uh, you know, it, really good little uh, a handy chart to have. And it's already uh, in place for you and you can edit the colors and things like that. Um, ideation and bra brainstorming is another uh, really good set of templates. Uh, it's got some other story uh, uh, board uh, templates in there as well. Um, uh, and so is meeting and workshops, a um, little bit more basic in, in here. Uh, you know, you can do like little retrospectives and uh, things like that. Sticky, little sticky note packs where you can just kind of uh, stick the ideas up on the wall. Uh, you know, if you're doing a quick brainstorm and maybe you're doing it over Zoom or something like that. Um, and, uh, you know, you can really pull together ideas very quickly. So uh, I'll open up one of these and just kind of give you a feel for it. Let's look, take a look at the site map. Um, I wish I would have had this a few months ago, uh, and I'll create a shared board here. Uh, and uh, it does give you the offer to, to go in and, and uh, purchase a plan um, uh, yeah, if you want to make it uh, uh, limited to just one team. Uh, you know, as you can see, you can lock this at any time if you don't want other people making changes to it. Typically, you're going to leave it unlocked and open. Um, uh, and uh, you can also... Uh, export these to Excel spreadsheets. Uh, you know, if you want to, uh, you know, finish, it's finished and you want to send it to the bosses, uh, you can do that type of thing. Uh, the usual tools you'll see over here, you know, adding text, adding another sticky note if, you know, you want to add one over here. Uh, you can add it. You can change the colors. You know, it's highly editable um, on all of these. Um, you know, so, if, you know, I'm doing a little 
uh, thing with text here, I, I would want to add in, you know, if I was doing, let's say, journalist toolbox, toolbox.org, and that's my top level, you know, page here. Um, I can move this over and slide it around, position it in the box. And then let's say I had some category pages underneath uh, that I wanted to add. You know, I could go ahead and list them here. Um, and I could do um, my data journalism page, data.html. Uh, and then underneath data, I would have, you know, a subcategory. You know, we used to do these out on marker boards. We'd uh, do all our site planning on marker boards. So underneath data, I would have a charts page. I would have a uh, maps page. Um, And then I could keep adding uh, down here. I can add lines, add shapes, add sticky notes as I go. Um, again, it's shareable. Um, so I can uh, click up here and invite any collaborators at any time. Uh, you know, I can copy the link here. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, basically anybody on my team can edit it. Um, you could also uh, enter their emails and invite them from your Gmail or, or from Slack. You can bring them right in through your contacts, uh, which is really cool. Um, uh, you also can invite them uh, in an auto saves too, which is, is really nice. Um, so uh, you can go back uh, to the home page if you wanted to uh, of Miro uh, and invite your team members at the beginning. Uh, you know, if you have a, a crew of five that you want to invite, you can invite them here, or you can invite them into that specific board as you're working. Uh, so really cool little tool. Uh, this next tool is a tool called ClipDrop. Uh, if you go to clipdrop.co, uh, you can take this tool. Uh, and you have to download it. Uh, you have to download the software. It's a pretty light download. It'll just take a few seconds. Uh, and then you have to open up the app on your phone. Uh, and as soon as you have that app open, you can take a photo of something. It's got, uh, you know, it's very intuitive uh, as far as framing uh, the photo. And I've got a little stuffed baby Yoda on my uh, desktop that I'm going to shoot a picture of. Cute little bugger here. Uh, and once he goes into the app, it drops the background out, which is really nice. Uh, now I'm going to go open up ClipDrop on my desktop. As you can see, I've clipped some things before here. Uh, and I can go in, and there's a little button in the upper left-hand corner of my phone app uh, that has Share to Computer. It's just a little computer with a little uh, Wi-Fi logo on it. Uh, you just tap on that and point it at your computer screen. Um, and it says, you know, hold down the capture toward your computer screen to drop. You click OK. And then it gives you a little button to click. And it'll drop it. You just have to wait for a second. Um, you need to have you know, your Wi-Fi on and, and both connected to the same Wi-Fi. And there's my picture of my little baby Yoda. Um, and so I have him and uh, it drops it into Finder, actually. Um, and uh, you, know, you can move your uh, uh, things to other apps, to your photos. I could drop this straight into Instagram or Facebook if I wanted to. It gives me that option on the app level to do so. Um, and it'll do it here as well. Um, so it'll... Uh, uh, give you that option, which is, is really cool. Um, and then it drops the little the, the little guy in here as well after a few seconds. So, uh, you know, there he is right there. He just popped in. Um, so uh, you have your little uh, uh, baby Yoda there. I had a plant in there, too. It's kind of cool how it drops the background out, uh, too, which is uh, a fun little feature of it. So that's Clip Drop. You know, you can download it then and edit it if you need to or something. Um, you know, it works kind of like AirDrop, only, you know, the sharing to other apps right away and things like that. Uh, dropping out the background. Few, it has a few other features uh, that, that AirDrop just uh, just doesn't have. Uh, my last one uh, that I want to show you is uh, audi audiotrimmer.com. Uh, all of these links will be in the description uh, of this video, um, so you don't have to worry about uh, you know not remembering the links or anything like that. Um, I'll have all the links uh, in the description uh, of the video. You can just click on them; they'll be hot links. Um, uh, audio trimmer is nice if you just have a piece of audio and, and you don't have time to really take it into one of the more refined, uh, you know, Adobe Audition or, uh, you know, any of the other, you know, GarageBand or something like that. Uh, you just need to do a quick little trim on it. Um, this is a good quick and dirty tool. There's another tool called Sodaphonic, S-E-O-D-A, Phonic with P-H, P-H-O-N-I-C. Sodaphonic, that's pretty good too. Uh, this is a, a really good one just in its simplicity. Uh, I can go out, I've got this uh, audio of a Barack Obama speech that I covered with some students a few years ago, now several years ago now. Uh, and it auto plays. Uh, obviously, so this is my old neighbor. You can hear him talking. Uh, I used to teach right around the corner. And um, it gives you uh, some readings here: your start point and end point uh, in seconds. 
Um, I could do fade in, fade out if it's music. Uh, you have two output, output formats, MP3 and M4R. I, I tend to work in MP3 because it's more universal, works on multiple platforms. Um, I'll pause it right here. And to trim it, you just move these little little uh, uh, icons. And I, you know, I could really go in and, and uh, do more detailed work, but I'm going to drag this over. Uh, Obama's speeches are good to teach students to edit on uh, because he has long pauses. Notice the waveform has these big dips in it. Those are the long dramatic pauses he takes in his speeches. And, and uh, you don't want somebody like me that talks real fast and tends to crowd my sentences together. You want somebody that takes long pauses. Oh, those are great to edit. Uh, so I've just you know done a little trim here. This is uh, uh, roughly you know uh, just under two minutes uh, of time. Starts at about five seconds and ends at 114 seconds. So uh, it's just under two minutes long. Um, and I'll hit crop. And then it gives me a download option here. And then you have to look at the fancy ad. And then after a few seconds, it'll drop right down into your downloads folder. Uh, and you'll have uh, your audio uh, right in here. Um, so there it is. Okay, so uh, that's Audio Trimmer. And again, um, so really co cool little apps here. I kind of uh, spread uh, to a lot of fields here. Uh, Miro is a nice uh, project planning app. ClipDrop to drop uh, images and, and drop their backgrounds out right into your computer, uh, right over Wi-Fi. Um, audio trimmer for a quick and dirty audio trimmer. And again, uh, use the Journalist Toolbox, journalisttoolbox.org. Uh, you can uh, use it for free uh, and find it at spj.org uh, or go uh, to the long URL. Uh, journalisttoolbox.org. So uh, check the description uh, on this video for the links to all the tools. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.